Hey guys, I don't know if you remember this from a long time ago. I'm talking maybe like a few years ago. But uh, this is one of my two white Sears Lasco Sanyos turn of the century ceiling fans that I have. Um, the other one is right there on the shelf back there and then the blades are somewhere down there. Um, but if you recall, both of these are four speed models. Uh, but one of them had a replacement three speed pull chain. Um, and I've worked with that for a while, but I decided to finally get it looked at um, because the speeds were arranged very oddly. Um, it went low, medium, high, and I discovered that, um, so the way this fan is wired, there's, um, it's not capacitor based, at least I don't know, actually, it might be capacitor based, I don't know. Whatever it is, there's no capacitors in the nose, I think there, it might be, uh, speeds might be tapped so, actually, let me, uh, let me, uh, rephrase that. Uh, from what I understand b about the four-speed models with KB55 stack motors is that those had a two-speed motor, but then it used capacitors to, um, give it four speeds. Um, so I'm assuming that that's the same way this one is. This is a skeletal, or it's not skeletal, it's, um, a cast aluminum motor. Um... And there's one wire for common and then four speed wires. And what they did is there's two, uh, there's technically a high, medium, and two low speeds. And what they did was they wired the two low speeds together and attached them to one terminal on a three speed pull chain. So I thought, okay, that's not good because that could, dam that could damage the windings or something. I thought, I'm not sure about it now, but uh, all I know is it didn't seem good. So that's this wire right here. And I actually made a list. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, wires, so common is black, high is red, medium is brown, low one is gray, and low two is white. They had low one and low two wired together. Um, so I corrected it, and I made it go high, medium, low two, or no, low one. I eliminated low two. I don't know why. Um, this, so this is the low two wire. So high, medium, low, one. Um, and that checks out because if I pull it, it goes high. So that's high. And then medium. And then low, one. So I'll turn that off. But I really, really wanted to restore the fourth, the fourth speed to be usable because you can either have a functional low or an aesthetic low depending on which wire you stick in the third uh, terminal slot. So, what I bought was, I bought one of these. This is a four-speed pull chain, and I had to do a bit of modification to it um, to make it work with this in this application. I watched a uh, Jordan Yu's video where he had to do the same thing. Basically, there's multiple, there was originally multiple uh, terminals in there, or multiple, like, contacts. So when you'd pull it once, it would be like a combination of the contacts, I guess for like multi-value capacitors or something for speeds. But um, I didn't want that. I just wanted the common to be going to one terminal at a time. So I uh, clipped off those two extra contacts, and now I just got one contact in there. So that works. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this installed, and then I will come back and uh, give it a quick demo of it working. Alright, so now I've got all the wires in place, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I don't know what that noise was, but I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the pull chain into the hole, and it should work, hopefully. Cross our fingers. I don't know what that noise is, and it's bothering me. Okay. Anyways. Alright, I got everything reassembled, and I even put the light kit back on. Um... But I didn't put the globe on properly, I don't think. No, I did. It's just weird. Um, I also, this light kit was the one that had a broken pull chain as well. So I replaced that, and so now it's got a pull chain that works. Um, yeah. So let's test the fan. Let's give a quick demo. This extension I put on as well it matches pretty nicely. So it's high. wobbles a little bit. And medium. A 
Low one. And low two. I'm tripping over all kinds of things. All right, very quickly do reverse. So low one, or sorry, low two. And low one. Medium. And high. That's the light chain. It's wobbling a lot more. All right. So that's it. Um. So yeah, I'm very glad that this thing works now, 100%, back to its original uh, state, I guess. So I did put, I did turn it off, did I not? Yeah, I did. Okay, it just started drifting. Um, so yeah, that's a um, quick video. Well, not so quick as I expected, but quick-ish video on the repair of this Sears Sanyo Lasco turn of the century. Uh, thank you for watching and more to come.